Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the May 2016 Grade 5-6 Contest, Question 18, which also came up in the Grade 7-8, 9-10, and 11-12 contests. So the question is, a bicycle with three gear wheels at the front, one shown in the picture, and three gear wheels at the back is advertised to be a nine-speed bike. The number of teeth in the gear wheels are as follows. Front, 54, 45, and 36, and in the back, 18, 15, and 12. However, when the ratio between the number of teeth on the front gear wheel to the number of teeth on the back gear wheel is the same in different gear settings, then the gears are essentially the same. <coughs> How many essentially different gear settings are really on this bike? <clears throat> okay, so in the versions of this question for the grades 7 to 12, these last two lines of the question are not given. So I will quickly explain them. All right, now let's assume that we have the, large, the biggest front gear wheel and the biggest back gear wheel. And Let's assume that this is the front gear wheel with the 54 teeth, since that's the largest number of teeth. And then the back gear wheel is somewhere back here with the 18 teeth. Okay, and now let's take any point that is not on this gear wheel. So let's say on the bike frame, that does not move with this gear wheel. And we will have, let's see what happens when we make one full rotation of the front gear wheel. Okay, so let's take this point up here, which it's, since it's the highest point. All right, now when this front gear wheel makes one full rotation, we know that 54 teeth of this front gear wheel pass this point. And that also means that 54 holes in the bike chain that runs over or runs across over the front gear wheel and back gear wheel, well, 54 holes of that bike chain then also pass this top point of the front gear wheel. Well, since the bike chain itself cannot be stretched or compressed, that also means that 54 holes in this bike chain must also go across the top point of the back gear wheel. Well, and that means that also 54 teeth of this back gear wheel must also pass that top highest point on the gear wheel. Well, if there are only, since here we have 18 teeth on this back gear wheel, well, then there are 54 divided by 18 rotations that this back gear wheel has to make. Well, 54 divided by 18 is exactly three, so that means for one or for every full rotation of the front gear wheel, the back gear wheel must make three full rotations. Now, let's say for example we have twice as many teeth in the front gear wheel, so 108, and twice as many teeth in the back gear wheel, so 36. Now again, we would have 108 holes in this bike chain passing this top point, so again 108 teeth passing this Back, uh, the top of the point for the back gear wheel, well again that would be 108 divided by 36 would again be three full rotations that this back gear wheel would have to make for just one full rotation of the front gear wheel. So as we can see the ratio stays the same and that is the only thing that matters as the actual numbers themselves don't matter. So we can see that those would be the same gears. All right, now let's, to, let's get to actually solving the problem. Now, in the question we know, it says it's advertised to be a nine-speed bike. Well, that means that there are nine combinations of having one front gear wheel and one back gear wheel. So now let's find the ratios between these teeth of the front gear wheel and the back gear wheel. All right, now shown on the board, is the numbers for the front gear wheel, which is 54 teeth, 45 teeth, and 36 teeth, and the three different numbers for the back gear wheels. So 18 teeth, 15 teeth, and 12 teeth. Now we can see that there must be nine combinations because for each of the three front different front gear wheel sizes, there are 
three different sizes for the back gear wheels. Okay, so let's start at the top. Let's find the ratio between 54 and 18. Okay, well, 54 divided by 18 is equal to 3. Then moving down, we have 54 divided by 15. Well, they both have a common factor of 3, so it's, it is just like saying 18 divided by 5, so 18 over 5. Okay, and then 54, so that was 54 and 15, and now 54 divided by 12, well, again, they both have a common factor of 6, so 54 divided by 6 is 9, and this divided by 6 is 2, so we would have 9 over 2. Alright, now moving on to the next gear wheel for the front gear wheel, it's 45. So 45 divided by 18, while well, they both have a common factor of, actually they have a common factor of 9. So 45 divided by 9 is 5, 18 divided by 9 is 2, so we would have 5 over 2. And then 40, the ratio between 45 and 15, well 45 divided by 15 is just 3. And then for 45 and 12, 45 divided by 12, they both have a common factor of 3. So 45 divided by 3 is 15, 12 divided by 3 is 4, so we have 15 over 4. And now finally moving on to the last size for the front gear wheel is 36. 36 divided by 18, well that's just 2. Then 36 and 15, so 36 divided by 15, well they both have a common factor of 3, so it would just be like 12 over 5. And finally the last combination of 36 and 12, well 36 divided by 12 is 3. Okay, so now let's see how many different ratios we have. Well, let's start off with the top one. We have three. Well, let's see, where else we have three? So we have here, three. Here also we have three. And down here, again, we have the same ratio of three. So that would count for one different, one ratio, or one gear, one different gear. Okay, now moving on to 18 over five. Here, no. Okay, so there's no more 18 over 5, so that's another tally. Now moving on to 9 over 2. Well, here, 5 over 2, there's no more 9 over 2, so that gets another tally. Moving on to the 5 over 2. Well, here's 15 over 4, 2, 12 over 5, so again, that would get its own tally. And now move, we already accounted for this 3, so moving on to the 15 over 4. Well, no, this is 2 and 12 over 5. So, 15 over 4 gets another tally, so we are at 5 now, and finally, we have 2, and well this is 12 over 5, so this 2 gets its own tally, and 12 over 5 gets its own tally. Okay, so now as we can see, we have 7, seven different gears. Now we can also prove this because we know we started off with nine combinations and we can see that this three showed up three times so we only need to use it once which means we can subtract two from nine which again we would get seven. So the answer is that there are seven different gears. If you'd like to know more about this contest please feel free to visit our website at caributest.com.